What's going on guys, it's Kyle, the How's You Get 123 here, and in today's video I'll be showing you guys 7 tips on how to save space on your PC, whether it's a hard drive or SSD, we'll be saving space on both. And before we get into it, let's just take a look at how much space I have originally before doing any of these steps on my computer. So I have two hard drives, or I have one SSD, one hard drive, and I also have an external hard drive, which I'll talk about later. But on my SSD, I have 62.4 gigabytes free of 221 gigs, and on my hard drive I have 201 gigabytes free of 931 gigabytes so let's see at the end of the tutorial how much space I have gained back by doing these tips so let's go ahead and get right into it so the first tip I have in saving uh, space on your PC is to delete temporary files temporary files are used when uh, let's say a file is being processed created or just being used uh, data, temporary data is stored in these files uh, also sometimes let's say you turn off your computer and uh, you didn't actually save your work your work is actually saved in a temporary file and uh, when these temporary files aren't being used they're just junk files and uh, this take up space and slow down your computer so let's go ahead and actually delete those so in order to delete temporary files the first thing you're going to want to do is hit the windows key and r and that's going to open a run window and in the run window you're going to want to type percent temp percent and then click ok once you've done that, this window is going to pop up and you're going to see a bunch of files and then uh, go ahead and uh, press Control A and what that's going to do is going to select all the files in the folder and then right click and delete and then it's going to go ahead and try to delete all the files in the folder. Now it might come up with a little warning saying this folder can't be deleted uh, and that's fine. Now check the box to say uh, do this for all current items and then click skip because those files might be important and might ask you again. Um, that you have access, you don't have access to delete this file but it's totally okay because those files might be important so we're going to want to leave those and skip them and now once it's done deleted you can close out of that window and then go back into the run once again by pressing windows key and r and this time just type in temp and then click ok and basically do the same thing it's going to ask you that you don't have permission to open this folder but just click continue and then you might see you you might see a lot of files you might see like here there aren't too many files but just go ahead and delete them anyways and uh, once again, it's basically the same thing. If it doesn't let you delete them, skip the files. And then uh, close out of that. And one last time, go into the run window again. This time, type in prefetch and click OK. And once again, it's going to say you don't have permission. But then click continue. And then once again, hide all the files and then delete them. And then skip the ones it doesn't let you delete. And then that's the last step in deleting temporary files. Tip number two is to run a disk cleanup, which is a built-in tool within Windows. Now to run disk cleanup, all you gotta do is go to your hard drive, so go to uh, this PC, and then right click on the drive you want to clean up. So I'm gonna uh, clean my SSD, so right click on it and then go to properties, and then click on disk cleanup. And now this window is gonna pop up. I'm just gonna minimize all this stuff here. And now you can see a whole bunch of uh, things that uh, Windows will suggest you delete to save space. Now, what I'd recommend is clicking on clean up system files. And I was going to search for system files that uh, Windows doesn't need anymore. And usually the system files uh, that Windows doesn't need. Some examples of uh, system files are older versions of Windows. So if you use a uh, previous version of Windows, what happens when you upgrade uh, your previous version of Windows, all of its files get put into a file on your C drive known as windows.old. And uh, those can usually take up quite a bit of space. So to delete it, you would just go through here. Uh, it would say old Windows uh, installations. No, I don't have one, so it's not going to show for me. But I totally would recommend deleting those if you don't need it anymore, because those take up quite a bit of space. Uh, another thing that takes up space is a Windows uh, update files. When it's done updating, usually the update files get stored on your computer, and those can also take up quite a bit of space. Uh, that's actually written this couple of days ago, and there's one that's like two gigabytes, and I've seen them up to like 20 gigabytes, so I would totally recommend deleting those because you don't need those anymore, and they take up quite a bit of space. But you can just go through here and delete what you you uh, would like. Uh, I have 13 gigabytes of stuff worth, uh, in my recycle bin, so I definitely don't want those anymore. Uh, so I'm going to have recycle bin check. Um, and yeah, you can choose what you want to delete and what you don't want to delete, but I'll just have all these checked because you don't need these anymore. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Click yes, or delete files. That's going to go ahead and clean up everything. And this might take uh, quite a bit of time depending on what you deleted and how much you are deleting. 
And there we go. Tip number three would be, uh, it's pretty obvious, but you know, uninstall games and programs you don't use. Uh, I know this one's pretty obvious, but these things can take up loads of space uh, on your hard drive or SSD. And if you don't use them, you might as well just get rid of them. Uh, if you go to the settings and then you go to system, uh, storage, and then you click on whatever hard drive you're trying or SSD you're trying to clear, and then you click on uh, apps and games, it'll tell you what apps and uh, programs are actually taking up the most amount of space on your uh, storage device. So if there's one you don't uh, actually use, you might as well get rid of it. Uh, here, I actually found a game called Ironside, or Ironside, I think it was, uh, and I've only played this game once, and I don't actually play it, and it was 5 gigabytes, and somehow I found its way on its on my SSD, even though I usually put games on my uh, hard drive, so I, I uninstalled it. Uh, I also went uh, to Battle.net, and I still actually had the Black Ops 4 beta, which can't actually even play anymore, and it's uh, it was like 84 gigabytes, if I remember, so I definitely got rid of that, and that cleared a lot of space on my uh, hard drive. And I also went to Steam and uninstalled uh, Dying Light because I don't actually uh, play that anymore. So things like that could definitely help save space on your storage device. The next tip is kind of, it's another uh, obvious one, but it's to delete files and move the larger ones to uh, either an external hard drive or cloud storage. The first place where I would recommend taking a look and uh, seeing if there's any files you can delete is your download folder. Uh, people tend to, you know, download the program uh, installers or uh, other things they'll just download them and then they'll usually just leave them there and forget about them so I'd totally uh, recommend going into your downloads folder and uh, deleting some stuff I know uh, in this video I had a ton of uh, just program installers and just files that I totally forgot about and I pretty much purged my entire downloads folder so I'd recommend doing that uh, another tip I would recommend is if you actually go uh, to this PC and then select the hard drive uh, you would like to uh, clean out and then if you go to uh, the search bar at the top and you type in size colon gigantic it'll actually search your hard drive and give you a list of all the files that are over 128 megabytes so uh, I would totally look at that and then see if there's any large files that you can delete also while going through there uh, just you know pretty much search your entire hard drive uh, or storage device and see if there's any anything you can delete and if you have any uh, important files. I totally recommend uh, getting maybe buying an external hard drive uh, to keep those off your main drive so you can leave uh, that drive empty to install things and then just leave those files uh, on an external hard drive. That's what I do. I have a 500 gigabyte Seagate uh, hard drive that I've had for external hard drive that I've had for a little while. Uh, you can also um, you know, upload them to a cloud storage like Google Drive, OneDrive are a couple examples of those. One thing that I do is I have an FTP server set up to store files on. I'm not going to go too much into what an FTP server is, but it's basically a computer that's set up as a server and I can access that computer and its files uh, using an FTP client from anywhere in the world. Uh, and I tend to keep larger files on there and I have it set up using an old laptop. So that's something uh, you can do. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on how to do that in the future. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier is to delete duplicate files because they're just taking up space and you don't need them because, you know, why would you need a second file? Uh, and you can actually use a program known as uh, Dupe Guru uh, to actually help you find uh, duplicate files. So you just set it to search a folder and it'll go through and find duplicate files and then uh, it'll ask you if you want to delete them and then they'll delete them for you. So that's something uh, you can do and I'll leave the download link for that in the description below. So one more thing you can do to keep large unwanted files off your computer is to set up something called Windows Storage Sense. Now this is a Windows 10 exclusive tip. Uh, it was introduced in newer versions of Windows 10 and what it is is it will automatically delete unwanted system files, temporary files, uh, it will empty your downloads folder and it will also empty your recycling bin all automatically uh, and you won't even have to worry about it. Now how you set this up is you go into your settings, then go to system, storage, and you'll see something called storage sense and then just turn that on and then click on change how we free up space automatically. And then, like I said, make sure that storage sense is on and then you can set how, how often you want storage sense to run. So I have mine to run every week and then make sure you tap, you check temporary files, delete temporary files that my apps aren't using. Then I have mine set to every, to delete them every 14 days. Now this stuff is totally up to you. You can set it to however often you want to run. Then delete files in my downloads folder if they've been there for over, uh, however often you want that to delete. I have mine set to never because sometimes I leave files in my downloads uh, folder that I might want, but you can set that to, to however often uh, you want it. Tip number five is to clear cached data in Google Chrome. Uh, what this is, it's uh, Google Chrome likes to save all your cached data 
uh, browsing history, cookies, things like that, that Google likes, Google Chrome likes to save, uh, can definitely build up over time and use quite a bit of space on your hard drive. So it's a good idea to clean that. And all you gotta do is go up here to the three dots here, uh, then click on settings. Now, once you get to this page, scroll down and then click on advanced. And then under privacy and security, click on clear browsing data. And then uh, it's gonna be on basic, click advanced, time range, all time. And then you're gonna want to check a browsing history, download history, cookies, and other site data and cache images and files. You can see that one is 319 megabytes. Um, but I would definitely leave passwords, autofill data, and uh, content settings, hosted app data, and media license. I would leave these unchecked because you don't want those to be erased, all your autofill passwords that might be uh, kind of annoying to put back in. But I would just uh, choose these ones here and then click clear data. And there you go. Tip number six is to compress your hard drive or SSD. What this is going to do, it's going to uh, shrink the file size, compress all your files down to a smaller size. So all you got to do is go to this PC, then pick the drive you want to compress. So I'm going to compress my SSD, right click on it, then go to properties. And then you'll see here, compress this drive to save this disk, disk space, check it, and then click apply. And then um, do you want to apply this? To your C drive or do you want to apply it to all of its subfolders? Uh, I would choose apply changes to this drive, subfolders, and files, then click OK. Now it's going to say you need to provide administrator permission to change its attributes. Just click continue. Now this might, um, okay, so now it's going to, um, so you can't compress these files, just click ignore all. And now this might take a really long time and depending on, you know, how how many files need to compress so it, this will probably take a real long time so as you see here 10 hours so i i would maybe recommend doing this overnight and then uh in the morning it should be done all right so last night i ran the um i, I compressed all the files on my c drive here um don't look at the estimated time it says that it was going to take like 20 hours and change to 10 hours but actually it only took an hour so it shouldn't take too long to compress all the files down and when it it's done i think before i ran it, it i was at about uh, 89 gigs free but now i have 119 gigs free so that drastically uh freed up space on our hard drive and uh that that's pretty good actually and one thing i did forget to mention is that even when you do compress all your files down you can still use all your files just like normal it doesn't actually change everything it just uh compresses the files down uh to a smaller size the only thing it does do the one disadvantage of this is that your computer might run a little bit slower just because whenever you use a file, Windows has to uncompress it and then when you're done using it, it compresses it uh, back down. But for the most part, this is totally worth it if you're trying to save space on your hard drive. Now the final tip I have, tip number seven, is to turn off hibernation. If you don't know what hibernation is, basically let's say you go to your start menu here, then you uh, go to power and you see hibernate here. Uh, let's say you have a couple programs open, a couple files open, then you tell your computer to hibernate. Uh, what's going to do? When you turn your computer back on, all your programs and files are still going to be open. It's going to be, uh, you're going to come back exactly where you left off on your computer. And that's pretty handy. However, um, what it does is it takes everything in your RAM before you turned off your computer or before you told your computer to hibernate. And it's going to store it in a file on your hard drive or SSD. Um, and those can take up quite a bit of space. They could be quite large. So this might be something you want to turn off if you want to save space. So to do that, it's very simple. All you gotta do is go to command prompt. So just go to your start menu here and then type in CMD and then right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. This is very important or it won't let you turn hibernation off and then click yes. Now you're gonna want to paste this in here. Uh, I'll have it in the description below if you want to copy it. And I just paste it, I just control, control B, yeah. Uh, and then if we go back to our start menu, here and then go to power you'll see hibernation is not there anymore and any of those uh, files on your hard drive hibernation files on your hard drive will be deleted all right so that brings us to the end of the video let's see how much space we actually saved uh so on my ssd this was the main one i was looking at uh, saving space on so before this is uh the original 
this is what we started out with. Let's see if I can zoom this in. So on my SSD, we were at 62.4 gigabytes free of 221, and now we're at 119 gigabytes free of 221. So that's a big drastic change. We didn't really focus too much on saving space on my hard drive. Mostly on this hard drive, I keep games. I have like 400 gigabytes of games on here. But I did uninstall a couple games. I uninstalled, I think, like three games, and that saved before we were at 201 gigabytes free of 931 gigs, and now we are at 282 gigs free of 931. So I think that's pretty good if you know you're trying to install uh, more games or if you're pretty much completely out of space. This will totally help you guys out. That's it for this video. I hope this helped. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.